All right, so we are out here on the lake again. Apparently, I live out here. It is after dark, so I think I'm going to insert uh, the picture of me with the headlight on. It's a pretty cool headlight, but I'm out here on literally on the lake, not just walking just yet, but it's still so... It was 83 degrees November... What is it? November 21st. It is... Even, even for Houston, the Houston area here, it is still so warm. Uh, but yeah, I'm out here on the boat. Uh, let's see. Uh, boat noises for authenticity. I'm hitting uh, the, uh, the uh, vinyl boat. We know it's vinyl because I've done a repair tutorial on that, right? Hitting it with the paddles. But anyway, so out here on the boat. And yesterday I mentioned... I mentioned the ex-boyfriend again, you know, that... What, what? Oh boy, I just saw the video. It was at the 10 minute mark of the last video. I, I don't want to go and talk about today. I know what I'm going to talk about today, but I don't know the segue. What, what exactly was I talking about? It doesn't matter, but it's something to do with the boyfriend. And, oh yeah, the note I put to myself was that when I came up with Guerrero, okay, it's not about, like, I, I want to find some other people to talk about the things I want to talk about, dot, 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 right? But initially it came out because in 2009, I, my ex-boyfriend, I had a two-month short relationship, right? But it was the first relationship I had. I waited such a long time for one. Um, and I finally got desperate enough because, again, even then I couldn't talk about what I wanted to talk about. I can barely talk about it now, right? But I got, I got desperate enough to where it was like, okay, what the fuck? I, I really just have to get a relationship, right? I, I did want to be with somebody, that sort of thing. So I go online, it was online dating, that sort of thing. It was, uh, I think, on OkCupid or Plenty of Fish or one of these things. But to make a long story short, um, that relationship didn't work out. And my explanation of it was, oh, he was, like a lot of gay guys, who was very effeminate. And, you know, that's not false, you know. It's like, if I wanted a girlfriend, I'd go get a girlfriend, right? But it, it felt exactly like having a girlfriend, you know, and I was like, this is kind of not what I want. It's, I'm not exactly Mr. He-Man here, right? But I, I do like more of the guy stuff. I, let's throw a ball around. Let's, I, I think like a guy. I think more like an engineer and more of a rational sort of thing than the whole empathetic, womanly, hysterical, you know, whatever nonsense it is that they do. And that also sort of cemented in me that gay men are just different, that they, they are very much like women in so many ways. And not, again, not in a disparaging way. Like, that is physically what... There, there's some differences there, you know, that are obvious. And, you know, if you look into the, um, into the more hormonal theories, the prenatal hormones that turn some... Uh, that might be turning some... Frogs freaking gay, right? Well, that's... You know, if you've heard Alex Jones say that, he's referencing those, those kind of theories that um, prenatal hormones effeminize a fetus. That's why you have more effeminate boys that turn into gay men, right? Uh, in the literature of old, uh, the scientific literature, they used to refer to it as pre-homosexual boys. The effeminate boys generally turned out to be. But I don't want to give a lecture on that. But anyway, so my, my ex-boyfriend kind of matched that quite a bit. And I said the reason... All right, let's change position in the boat. Hopefully I don't flip out. Ugh. There we go. So... Mm. So my explanation of why that relationship didn't work out was, oh, he was just like, you know, he was effeminate just like a girl. And that's why it didn't work out. And that didn't help, right? Again, I prefer somebody a little bit more on the, um, you know, more on the kind of like-minded, similar sort of side of things. But anyways, enough prefacing. Um, but that's not the case. That's just not the case. You know, the reason was that we didn't connect on the things that mattered to me, the things I want to talk about, things you can't mention, just the sort of interpersonal dynamics. So I'm just going to give one example that I've thought of, and I still remember, so that's good, is I remember we were at a restaurant, and it wasn't too fancy. I, I kind of like that, you know, we kind of went to restaurants. It was kind of fun. It was fun to be around somebody. It was kind of fun to go out even though I'm not really that person. But hey, you tag along with somebody, it's kind of fun, that sort of thing. And we were at some, some uh, not the fanciest restaurant, but it was a pretty decent place. It wasn't some chain thing, right? And I remember he was kind of typing on his phone, 
you know, texting and all that. And I think it was like the ex-boyfriend. I don't think he was over him. I know he wasn't over him, but it could have been somebody else. It could have been some friends he had in New York or something, but it was kind of rude, you know, and then I was kind of like frustrated with it. He's, but I didn't say too much about it. You know, we, we were waiting for the food. He was kind of texting, but he was ignoring me. And it's like, what the fuck is this? You know, but I was, a, you know, I was, I was too much of a bitch to say anything. Right. And then he actually ended up going to, ended up going to the bathroom and I presume he didn't take a 10 minute shit. I presume that, you know, he was just t- chit chatting and typing and texting in, in the bathroom, you know, and the meal came out, you know, uh, our, our main course kind of came out and he was still nowhere to be seen. And it was at least 10, 15 minutes. And it was just kind of infuriating that why am I such a little bitch who can't say, well, what's going on? Like, you know, you want to talk about your ex-boyfriend or something? You know, I don't, I don't even mind, but, you know, it's kind of rude to, to not do this. But I can't do it. I was just kind of seething. And it's one of those things where if you bring this up, you kind of know the relationship's over. Because if the person's like this, eh, you know, yeah. Live and you learn, right? But that's basically it is, okay, Maybe you can find someone less rude than that. But again, where can you talk about with people? Oh boy, that's a... I wanted to do a dramatic ending, but again, the the words don't come out in the right order, so that doesn't help. But okay, so maybe you can find some better quality people who aren't going to do that and just aren't rude and obnoxious like that, just completely self-centered assholes like that. But where do you find people with whom you can talk about the letter with? The letter in big capital letters, right? Those sort of issues. You know, and that's always been, I always wanted to put the things I want to talk about now out there like this and say, hey, you like this? You know, hit me up, that sort of thing. But that's, that's been the elusive sort of thing. Where can you talk about with people? That sort of personal experience with my parents that, you know, the bathtub incident, they threw him in a bathtub once, remember? That sort of thing. Or the military school incident where they threatened to send me off to middle, or uh, to military school because my mother was being hysterical. I mentioned that before. It's just like you can't. This is just not something that is a concern for most people. And that's the loneliness is this is just not on anyone's radar. People just kind of go along with it. Even people who went through much worse abuse. It's just, it's that Stockholm syndrome, you know. And again, that's sort of it is, yeah, I'm just sort of accepting that, you know. Oh, wait, I have a fun picture to put in (laughs) of the uh, ex-boyfriend. Yeah, let's put it in right here. There we go. If I find it, I'm pretty sure I will because I've seen it recently or I've seen some of the, the ones. Yeah, yeah, it's here. I think we'll cut. Yeah, I think we'll blur or somehow cut it out. But um yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that photo if we can find it. But yeah, it's just it's just kind of tough to to even say these things because yeah, the things I want to talk even the, you know, who's going to start off, who's going to lead with, yeah, you know, my mother was a cunt. She threw me in a bathtub and this is not how I want to interact with people. How are your shitty parents? You know, nobody wants to talk about that. Um and people just kind of want to do that that Stockholm syndrome to the group where I don't think people have that high standards. They just kind of go along with, you know, safety in numbers, you know, don't stray away from the group. Says the guy who is, looks around on empty lake in the middle of the lake and yeah, no one's here, no one. It's fun to be out of here, you know, and I wish there were more people here, but you know, there's some screaming people in the background. There are some campsites here, right? But, but yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, the values I have, it just does not appear that very many people share them. And, um, yeah, that sucks, but I'm kind of accepting that, and that's fine. You know, accepting that so few people have them is great, because then I can maybe realize that and talk about it. Because it's hard to talk about when the, the really the lead is, yeah, no one really has this, so... Where the fuck am I even going to talk about it with, right? Where, where, where do I talk about these things, right? I can't just randomly go up to people because, yeah, no one wants to talk about that. 
So anyways, just to recap, it's the Guerrero thing. Yeah, masculine likes masculine. I don't want to be, I don't want a girlfriend for the same reason. I don't want to, you know, what do you call it? A gay, a gay guy. And that's not false, but that, that kind of doesn't go into, it doesn't go into the de- the deeper side of it, which is, yeah, okay, it didn't work out with my boyfriend, not because he was effeminate, but because, you know, we didn't share those val- values, you know. I don't know. I, it's somewhat more coherent. I'm sure we'll get to it. I like it. It's fine. We got to put some pictures, do some video editing, and that's it for now.